Welcome back. This is the how-to to create a grading scale in the Adasio app. Now, if you downloaded the Adasio templates, you already have these grading scales built into your Adasio app. They download automatically with the templates, so it's nice to have. Now, if you are not a PE teacher and you're not using my templates, or you... Like I said, not RP teacher, not using my templates, or you are a teacher, like a music teacher or a different type of teacher that are using these to help create your own, please follow along to create a grading scale. First and foremost, you need to go to your grade types. Top left hand corner, you'll see the grade types. Please click on grade types. Now you'll notice that there are a variety of types. Yours is going to look way different from mine the first time you open this because there are so many different ones out there. Well, I'll show you how to go through and delete them at one point but these are the ones we're going to go through at the moment so right now we're going to add a grade type so the top right hand corner you're going to press add you're going to create a number based grade system now in here you need to have a grade description now I call mine PE standards because I go off PE standards of advanced proficient partially proficient and unsatisfactory and I do give them values so we'll walk through how to do those individually now when we do that ladies and gentlemen hold on just a second I'm gonna do one thing so I've got my PE standards now PE standards, I type in PE standards here, and because that's what we call it, you call it whatever you want to call it. Music standards, health standards, art standards, whatever you want to do, whatever fits for you. Now, if you are going off the system that I'm doing with an advanced, proficient, partially proficient, unsatisfactory, I do a four to one. Okay, maximum grade is a four, that's my advanced. A minimum grade is a one, that is unsatisfactory. Threshold value of zero, so I have whole numbers. Do I do rounding? Nope, I don't do any rounding, so I hold it strictly at ones, and I'll round up myself. And then I go to my icons. Here's where I add in my icons, ladies and gentlemen. So, adding in icons. We'll come back to this in just a moment. So, what I would like you to do is, I want you to go down to your settings. And if you have not done your icons before, please make sure you see the how-to on the icons, but I'm going to do a quick little check with you so you've got that. So I've gone through my icons and I've selected the icons I want to do. I have my dark green face, green face, orange face, red face, yellow face, and I have labeled them accordingly. Advanced, proficient, partially proficient, unsatisfactory, and no grade. Custom editor, I have my PE standards here. This is something you need to have as well so that these icons pop up when you are doing your grading for your grading scales. Column editor, here are all the different columns. Here's where you can delete and keep them at will. All right, now going back up to done. Going back to our grade types, PE standards. So we're back to our original. We have our rounding and we have our icons. I go through and I select the icons that I want. I can scroll down thousands, thousands, thousands of icons. But the ones at the top, again, see the how-to icons to get them at the top so they're readily available. I have my advance. When I get my advance, I give it a four value. I press it. I type in my number four and I hit return. Sorry, I don't hit return. I'm just going to leave it there and I go to the next one. It will automatically show four. And so I give my values advanced four, proficient a three, partially proficient a two, unsatisfactory a one. And you'll notice that my no grade doesn't have a grade. I don't give it a zero because if I give it a zero, then it will calculate as a zero, but I want it to be blank because that's for students who are absent. Not that they're not doing it, they're just absent that day. So there's my icons. I don't add any colors in. You can if you want. You can play with that, but I don't. So I have my icons all set up. Now, if you have done exactly what I have done, where you have your settings, PE standards, or whatever you call it, a 4 to a 1, and then your icons set up, and then give your 4, 3, 2, 1, we are done so far. Now, going down to our settings. Going all the way down and going to our column editor. Here is where you go through and you saw a whole bunch of things listed. Now, this is where you can say, I want this, I don't want this, I do want this, I do want this. Here's the thing. I recommend if you're doing averages, so you are creating an average at the end, that you click on raw average because you would like to have that raw average so make sure that's checked and so you can calculate final grades if you have downloaded my template it should be there but just in case make sure it's down there 
And here's so you can add in so many different, different, different ways of column editors. Now, I also use keypad, so if you're using my templates, make sure you've got the keypad there and keep quick attendance check because that's how you do attendance. See the attendance how to there. Going down to empty cell icons, you need to click that. There's where you put in your icons that you don't want calculated into. So you have that straight, no grade yellow smiley face. By clicking on that box, I've now taken it away. I click on it again, it brings it up. I click on my no grade, it is there. I've got all my icons set up as in these how to icons, so make sure you check that. Custom editor, make sure you have your PE standards or for whatever you're going to call it, along with your columns, your icons in the order you're going to use them. Don't have them in random orders. You have them in random orders, they're going to show up in random orders when you are doing your grading. So have your advanced, proficient, partial, proficient, unsatisfactory, no grade in whatever order you're going to do it. When you're done, press done, ladies and gentlemen. And so when you go into adding a grade, I'm going to go into my classes, go into my grade, and as an example, I'm going to go to my PE test because that way you can see it. I have here my standards. I'm going to move this tab. I'm going to create a tab, so just hang on one moment with me, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. PE standards. Okay. So I'm creating a tab, and we are going to, this is, looks like locomotor. So we're going to do some galloping. G-A-L-L-O-P, galloping, or gallop. Let's just do gallop. From here, I'm going to get editor. I'm going to go to PE standards, grade type. Scroll down to PE standards. That's what you just set up. I'm going to add a calculation line because that's what I always do. Then from here, I click on one student and it brings up all these columns here. If I do not add in PE standards and I just have icons, sorry, let's try What's PE standards here. And I have generic number. Okay, that's fine. When I click on it, it'll pop up. Still done, but it won't give me that score because I have to have the PE standards included because that is how the icons have the values. That is how we get that grade, that numeric grade. So make sure when you have that skill you are assessing, go under editor, you have your PE standards, what you created, you have your grade type, PE standards. Average or average, it's up to you. Okay. It will pop up all these at the bottom, and you're good to go. So that is how you create a grading scale and add it into when you're grading. Now, you'll notice here that I have final grade, then gallop. Well, how do I, how do I switch that around? Great question. Press and hold, ladies and gentlemen. And now it brings up editor, color, icon, tool. I'm going to use the tool. And then I'm on the right hand side where the three lines are for final grade. I'm going to press and hold, drag down, press done, and now I have moved it over. And if I want to calculate in that final grade, double tap under final grade. I need to add in that column, so I'm going to click on Gallup. It is now calculated in, and now it gives me final grades. So that is how to create a grading scale and add it in to an assessment, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions, please email me, ndspencer at aps.k12. .co .us. Also, you can leave comments, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. If you have any other questions on how-to videos you'd like to see, please leave comments and email me. I hope this helps streamline your assessments and your data collection in iDossier with using the iDossier app, ladies and gentlemen.